Hey everybody, this is Alan Virgil Glaxon and today I'm talking about Star Wars episode Star Wars Rebels, which is my favorite animated series because well mainly just seasons two, three, and four are my favorite. <sighs> Season two is my favorite because they introduced Darth Vader, who is an amazing Sith Lord, played again by the amazing James Earl Jones. And the Inquisitors are really cool in that season. Although they still don't fix the dub on uh, on Disney Plus, where they uh, they haven't fixed the dub on Disney Plus, where they uh, where where it's meant to be Ian, Ian McDermott doing the doing the voice of uh, of Sidious instead of uh, I mean Emperor Palpatine instead of uh, um, Sam Wither. You know they have slight variations on what they say in both versions, but it's not that much to worry about. Oh, and. This special video is spot is not sponsored by, but is a, but I'm a big fan of Bang Energy, which I've seen on a lot of videos, and this one's the Rainbow Unicorn flavor. Really, my really one of my favorite flavors. I'm not addicted to these. I just like the flavor, and it's also and it's also, and I'm also a big fan of Kroger sparkling water, black cherry flavor, and sometimes the lemon lime flavor. Doesn't have any sugar in it, but it has su sucrose in it, which is not really sugar. And I and I will be exercising again, which you'll hear about on my health channel when I go, when I make a video on that. This will be two uploads today. One is about Star Wars Rebels, which is this one, and then the next one will be about uh, the Force Awakens. And sadly, I'm still not breaking my rule on my playlist. No Angry Joe Star Wars prequels, I mean, re sequel reviews will be on that channel, on my playlist. Also, I'm watching Intervention, the Heroin Hub episode, but Star Wars Rebels is my favorite series because it, because it led to the much better voice Thrawn, even though I do love the Thrawn so far in, in, in canon, I mean, in Legends. Canon Thrawn just sounds much cooler when he's voice when he, when Mark Thompson does a Lars Mikkelsen impression and Lars Mikkelsen does an amazing job as the new Thrawn. Sadly, they don't have him kill anybody like like his no gree Rook did in uh, in the book. Spoiler alert: Air of the Empire. Oh, what the heck? The book's from 1998. I think everyone's read that book by now. And the and the and the second and the other book. Increases its length to 492 pages when you get the 20th, 20th anniversary edition. The original book was only 416 pages. Which I do plan to buy more more Thrawn books and hopefully I can get The Last Command soon because that would complete the Thrawn, the classic Thrawn trilogy and hopefully I don't have a download error where it skips me a couple of chapters ahead. But I like Star I like Season 2 because it introduces Darth Vader. Season 1 was pretty good when they blew up Tarkin's Star Destroyer, but uh, not really much was introduced there, and it was mostly slow. But after Season 2, it got way better when the when the Siege of Lothal episode two-parter came out. It was really good, Siege of the Siege of Lothal. Uh, it introduced a lot of good characters that made the stakes higher when... Tarkin Town was destroyed. The villain Darth Vader was really good, voiced by James Earl Jones. And uh, it reintroduced Maul. And for a kid show, it, it introduced a lot of brutal kills from the Seventh Sister's death or Second Sister. I can't remember which which number she was, voiced by Michelle, Sarah Michelle Geller, who was who also her husband was in the show, uh, uh, Freddie Prince Jr. as Kanan. To uh, to the amazing uh, to the amazing Hondo Onaka returning, voiced by Jim Cummings again. Although I did like season one when they, when they introduced reintroduced Billy D. Williams character Lando Calrissian into the show. He's really good, Lando. I love Billy D. Williams in in Return of the Jedi. And in case anyone anyone's wondering, this flavor, the cotton candy and candy apple and uh, birthday cake bash, which the birthday cake bash, birthday cake bash, I'll I'll review on the next video after after I'll review whenever I can get it either the caffeine fee variety at a Meyer or a or a caffeine filled one at a gas station stand or somewhere else. Either one, I'll do a review on that. Because I love Bang. 
they're, they're sweet tasting, they're good. Got no sugar. It's got citric acid, bencinoids, caffeine, natural flavors. Lots of other good stuff. And I think on the caffeine free variety, they don't they have that warning removed about too much caffeine. Which I don't drink these often. I don't drink the high caffeine drinks as often. I, I try to stay away from them. And when I walk, it's hard to not go go to the restroom in the in the park at Iroquois. Because, uh, because of all the caffeine and water I have in my system. So I'm going to wait an hour before I drink these. Before I go to, to Iroquois or an, any other park. But Star Wars Rebels is really good from... Uh, from uh, season three, where they introduce Iron Squadron, which is the cover, which is the main color cover of the of the Alphabet Squadron books, to uh, to introducing uh, 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 who else did they introduce? Oh yeah, Force Whitaker's character, which was a re which that was that, that he was introduced because they were promoting. Rogue One, a Star Wars story, which was an amazing movie. And, uh, it was pretty good. And I definitely liked, uh, Solo, Solo, but this one's about Rebels. He wasn't in that. And I liked the... And I liked Thrawn. He was really good. Again, he wasn't as dark, which I noticed people were commenting on in the prequel, prequel, Star Thrawn prequel book. Which was actually said during the prequels, during uh, the Clone Wars. Again, I think I'm preferring, preferring the the canon Thrawn over the other Thrawn. Though I really hope the the final book of the Thrawn prequel trilogy is over 16 hours long, because the f current one is the next book is only 14 hours long, which is still pretty long. But Thrawn is my favorite character so far. He's in my channel trailer. I will have to re-edit those because of my controversial comments on Instagram about about Chloe and graphic stuff I would like to do to her and everything. Yeah, some days I have no filter on Twitter or Facebook. Except for when it comes to Andrew Joe, I definitely have a filter with him. It's swearing at him because he, he's wrong about Borderlands 3. He's wrong about the, the sequels or the, the Rise of the First Order trilogy. He's uh, not right about... Uh, about... Star Wars in general. I did. I did make a playlist for his uh, complete series of uh, of EA saga, which it starts out negative with uh, with Battlefront, but Star Wars Battlefront EA, and goes positive around uh, around uh, squadrons. But uh, yeah, not much. Just just got back from my day program. Uh, did some real and fake news. And the reason I keep saying the, the day program's names is because I want to shout it out because they promoted my channel on their Facebook page or in a video on their page. And, uh, and I like to promote them because it could help boost their membership when they get back to normal. And, uh, I just like helping people. But yeah, new videos will, will be coming out and pretty soon... I'll be exercising more and burning off these calories. I ate, I ate an entire jar of cookie dough again last night. Not a good thing to do. But uh, season four was actually really good of of uh, of Rebels. From Jedi Knight, episode Jedi Knight spelled N-I-G-T. To, uh, to uh, zero hour in season three. Too many other episodes of uh, Rebels. It's a pretty good series. And Dave Filoni was the voice of, of Chopper, which I didn't realize that until I read Wikipedia and read that he was claimed right, that he was labeled as himself on my uh, on his page up until the series finale. My caffeine level right now is at 354 because I drank a Mountain Dew earlier in the morning.
but yeah, more video. This will be one of many videos that will feature Bang Energy. And I also promoted an old, a smaller channel. It's in my last video about the Bang Caffeine Free variety, which I'll link to my last video on 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 this newest video, and and a Star Wars video, the High Republic, the Nile video, and I'll link to my friend Paul's channel so you can subscribe there. He's a he's an amazing artist. We're working on art projects for Will Save the Galaxy for food, and. Uh, And I'll link people to my Star Wars playlist on the second video, which gets longer every time there's a new video or a complete series like uh, Echoes of Eternity, which is 40 episodes long, ranging between two, almost three hours long to about an hour, 30, hour 40. And they're role-playing Star Wars games, which has, which is funny because it's the first time I've ever heard of a Star Wars game where people are allowed to swear. And it's, it's and also my T-shirts in Inside Out. I don't know how he didn't notice that till now. But uh, yeah, also Norwegian. When I listen to Star Wars, the Clone Wars on on dub, Norwegian General Greek. When I hear the word "kill them all" in the episode uh, uh, Clone Cadets, hearing the different languages of Grievous saying that is so amazing. From French Grievous to Spanish Grievous to Norwegian Grievous to. To Finnish, fin, Finchiska, Grievous, to German Grievous. They all sound amazing. Sadly, there was no Japanese Grievous, but they have a Japanese version of him on uh, on Battlefront. Yeah, Star Wars is my favorite franchise, and I will review majority of Legends. I just can't get it all until I either get enough money or until I can uh, buy the physical books. I don't mind them having a little Legends banner on top as long as they're still funds and they actually are still considered Star Wars properties not not canonical but they still are Star Wars I still have lightsabers, still have blasters still have fun characters which I'm 54% of the way through my Thrawn book I mean not Thrawn book not the main canon Thrawn which is 16 hours long I'm 54% of the way through my Heir to the Empire book which is pretty good And, uh, yeah, no, new franchises, new videos coming out about various topics in Star Wars media. New health video will come out tonight. And, uh, later today I will be going for a walk, or tomorrow I'll be going for a walk after the caffeine calms down. Because I do want to be able to enjoy the walk and not... Because all the bathrooms down at Fern Creek are clo Fern Creek Park are closed because of the winter. But uh, yeah, I plan to go exercising more when the weather gets better and the bathrooms reopen. And I hope and I won't be drinking as much caffeine next month because I'll be trying to lose weight, and I'm and I'm also going to be trying to uh, and I'll. Still get bang on occasion, but the caffeine for free variety they sell at Myers or somewhere else, not the caffeine variety. My sleep has been fine though, and Star Wars is still a big franchise of mine. But I will plan to be reviewing more of it in the coming months. And uh, starting with the next video, I'll be reviewing The Force Awakens. Then the health video will be uploaded just after this one. And then, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you all in the next video. And uh, may the Force be with you. And uh, have a great time.